you're welcome to my channel in this video we are still continuing the topic 5 which is population and sampling and under this topic we shall be looking at the nine probability sampling techniques in our previous video we looked at the probability sampling techniques yeah nine probability sampling on the other hand does not involve random selection because we said probability sampling involves random selection but non probability it doesn't involve random selection non probability samples can cannot depend upon the rationale of the probability theory we can divide non probability sampling methods into three types and that is conveniency also known as accidental then judgmental and then purposive sampling those are the three types of non probability sampling techniques we said for probability sampling techniques, the population is always known. But for non-probability sampling techniques, the population is not always known. And selection is not by chance. Most sampling methods are purposive in nature, like they are done for a purpose. Yeah, because we always approach the sampling problem with a specific plan in mind. So we are going to explain the types of non-probability sampling technique in details. We shall start with convenience sampling. Convenience, this is convenient to the researcher in the sense that each and every element that can easily be reached is sampled. It's very biased and there is a very high rate of non-respondents. You, you be like, you stand at the gate and you be like, Every student that I see, I will ask them this question. So that is convenient sampling. It's convenient to the researcher in the sense that each and every element that is easily reached is sampled. Yeah, it is biased and the very high rates of non-respondents because it's not that every student that you ask will respond. Yeah, some students are, are arrogant, others don't want to know, others they don't want to be disturbed. Another one is called judgmental sampling. This looks at the exact aim of the research. It focuses on the right respondents of the research. Purposive sampling, the exact aim, the exact reason as why you're doing research. Yeah, that's what we call purposive. Then judgmental, judgmental, this is a highly biased technique where the researcher judges the element to include in his sample based on his knowledge, skills, and experience. You say, according to this and this, I guess this is the right thing that I'm supposed to do. You just judge according to your own experience and your own knowledge. That's what we call judgment. The researcher here has supreme choice on what elements to include in the sample. So it, it depends on the researcher. It depends on his knowledge and his experience to decide what he will put in the sample and what he will not. And that was all about the non-probability sampling techniques. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and watch my next video. We shall be looking at the difference between cluster and strat stratified sampling.